Dream Team, it's your boy d -Neal. Bye! With another reaction video, here we are with Grandma Brings Her New Boyfriend, Mr. Morris, to dinner. Friday Night Dinner Season 2, Episode 2, before we dive in. Subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. You guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. What do we got? Wait, I'm busy. Oh lord. Well, can you move? All right. Come in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Looking for trilobites. Trilobites? You know, marine arthropods. I found my old fossil collection. Wow. Every nice a party night around here. Pardon? Oh, well, that's face. This face. Hi, Mum. Hi. Where's Grandma? Is she coming? Oh, she's coming, all right. And you'll never guess who with. How do I know who Grandma's coming with? Hi, Mum. Hi, Bobble. Mwah. One minute. You don't mean her new boyfriend? Oh, my God. We're going to meet Grandma's new boyfriend. Oh, I told you, Mr Morris is not Grandma's boyfriend. He's her male, male companion. companion, exactly. Male prostitute. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> exactly. I found a trial of bite. Mazel tov. When are they getting here? Oh, good question. They were meant to be here about... Martin, you do know that's butter you're eating. What? They're cubes of butter. Oh, I thought it was cheese. Oh, and put a top on. Mr. Morris really won't want to see your hairy udders. Well, he's his grandma's. Very nice. <laughs> God. Grandma with a man. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. What do you mean? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with your grandma going with men? Oh, lovely way of putting it. Why is he just eating these cubes? Of Bro, Barnes is such a weirdo. He's such a weirdo. Well, she obviously went with a man to form you. Nice image. Thank you, Martin. No. <sighs> Thank you all very much. Tastes like cheese. Sorry, Mum. Yeah. It's all right. It's just... Since Grandad died, I've never seen my mum with another man. Mm. Sure it'll be really nice. Yeah, Mum. Do you think so? Well, if he's not, we'll just strangle him and dissolve his body in acid. Mm. Or chop him up and burn him. <laughs> That's my boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, text from Grandma. Grandma can text. <laughs> That's debatable. Uh, dear Jackie. Dear, it's a good start. Sorry, we are late. Late. Now we are, we here. Seven, 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 seven. So that means... That means they're here? Oh, mm. oh my God, they're here, they're here! When are they coming? They're here! He's got a cool car. <laughs> oh, it's in pieces. Did Grandma say if Mr Morris had any eyes? Because I'm not sure he knows there's a house right in front of him. Stop, stop, stop! stop. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hello, Mr Morris. Ooh. Your bloody house just broke my light. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, two sherries, please. One for you and one for Both for me. Two sherries, please. Okay, two sherries. Delightful bathroom. Oh, thank you. Drink, Mr. Morris. Uh, blue. There was no hand towel. Oh, I am sorry. I had to dry my hands on the curtains. What else could I do? Not dry your hands on the curtains? He's very <laughs> hygienical. Um, would you like a drink? I think I'll have champagne. Champagne? For this wonderful occasion. Luke does like his champagne. <laughs> um, I don't think we've got any champagne. Yes, we do. There's a bottle in the fridge. No, oh, that's the special bottle. Even better, the special bottle of champagne. <laughs> you know, your mother makes me very happy. Look. Oh. 
I'm gonna get the drinks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all randy. Oh my lord. That's the image I think everybody could have could have gotten without seeing. I, I think I, I speak for everybody in the house. He likes the loo. What? He likes the loo. Your friend. The male. The male. Stop it. He'll be here in a minute. Oh, Alfred wipe his cock on the curtains. Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Mr. Morris? Well, go on. A bit scared. Is it Jim? Hello, boys. Of course it's Jim. Hi, Jim. Of course it's Jim. Who is it? Jim! Uh, Hello, Jackie. Um, something smells nice. Why didn't you use the front door? Well, that's the thing. I couldn't get there because... Did you know there's a car parked right up against it? <laughs> yes, we know. Joyrider, is it? Um, sort of the opposite. Guy's about 100. I'm 82, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong with my driving? Uh, not specifically your driving, it's more s specifically your parking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dog. I don't like dogs. Dirty. No, not Wilson. It's very clean. Aren't you, don't you? You shouldn't allow dogs near food preparation areas. Dirty is not dirty. They're riddled with nits. No, not Wilson. I had him de-riddled. Dirty. Mm. Who's that man? Sorry, Jim. Just ignore him. He looked like Hitler. <laughs> it's, it's not Hitler. <laughs> Jim's an idiot. Everything okay? Uh, the man didn't like my driving. Well, showing what a real driver is. Well, we. If you're lucky, you can come with me later to get a new bulb for my indicator. And if you're unlucky. <laughs> have you ever worked? <clears throat> have I ever worked, he asked. What am I, a layabout? Of course I've worked. Tin. Actually, I had a very exciting career. Did you? I worked with the armed forces. So you were in the army? No, we put the buttons on the uniforms. <laughs> what? Is that a uh, thing? Of course it's a thing. We had a machine. Oh, we had a big machine. A very big machine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do again? <coughs> Button company. <coughs> Mutton company? Just go and get the pickle cucumbers, <coughs> would you? Mutton company? Yes, I had the biggest button sewing company around. At mm. least until Rutherford's came along. Like Rutherford's. Rutherford's? They wouldn't know a button from a monkey's anus. Ooh. Very succulent chicken, my love. <laughs> <laughs> you, little legs. Me. Excellent. Have a guess yeah. how many staff I had in London and the South East. Um, four. Four? Four? No, not you. Don't listen to him. You, Beanstalk. How many staff do you think <laughs> I had working for me in London and the South East? And the South East? And the South East. Don't know, a thousand? A thousand. Mm. A thousand? All right. Hundred. Less. Ninety. Much less. Five. More. Five. Six. Eleven, all right. <laughs> I had eleven damned loyal people all working for me. Right. And you know what? Not one of them ever slandered me. Really? Mm. Did they, Nelly? What? I was never slandered. Tell them. He was never slandered. <laughs> Oh Lord, I, this would be such an awkward family dinner. I mean, like, y'all get it's time for this man to go. Grandma, don't bring him back. Don't bring him back. Thank you, Melvin. Oh, it's Martin. <laughs> Calm down, you'll have a heart attack. Oh, bloody thing. You know that one doesn't open. Do you know how many heart attacks I've had? Oh, good, more guessing. Um, none. Oh, no, I've had some, not none. You, you'll go. Oh, it, Two. it's a horrible thing to have to guess, Mr. Morris. Um, one? Why does everyone get so low in this house? <laughs> you, Tiny Tim. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, a million. A million heart attacks? 
You, Skyscraper. Um, four? No, three. Three heart attacks. Is that a lot? Have you ever had a heart attack? <coughs> Would you like to have a heart attack? Not really. How do you think it feels <coughs> to have had three, three heart attacks? Uh, I wouldn't really know. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Is he having a real... <coughs> Mr Morris? Oh, Mum? Don't worry, he always does this. <coughs> That's how it feels. <laughs> oh, what, please excuse me. <laughs> oh, my lord. Lou Anthony Morris. Should I get the acid? Shh. Why are you calling me now? Mum? Yes. Mr. Morris, uh, he seems. Horrible. Hitlerish. Nice. What? Oh, yes, and uh, he's very kind. Well, maybe. Not kind, but, uh, well, you know. Yeah. What bloody business is it of yours? We don't know. Who's he on the phone to? Mussolini. I think I know who he's talking to. Who? Uh-oh. His wife. His what? His wife? Ah! I thought she was dead. No, she's still alive. She's 93. What? Oh, wow. Oh, that is, you bony old hag. Yes, that's definitely his wife. <coughs> but they're divorced. Yeah, Mum? <laughs> Mum? <coughs> Grandma? Grandma? All right, all right. You mustn't say anything. But we're having an affair. <coughs> Do you know what you are? You're a big bag of shit! <coughs> Y'all are too old to be having an affair. Your bloody wall just broke my phone. <laughs> oh my lord. Here, boss face. Oh. Thank you. Pleasure. I can't believe it. My 78 year old mother having an affair with an 82 year old man. Behind the back of his 93 year old wife. That could definitely be a poor name. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to. Uh... Where are you going? His usual hiding place, no doubt. Thank you, Martin. Leave me in it. Oh, hello, love. And Lou wondered if there was any more champagne. Oh, did he? Yes. He said you were a bit mean with his first glass. <laughs> Apparently, it was all froth. Here, Grandma. No, Johnny. Let her get it herself. <laughs> froth. Is there something the matter, Dolly? What do you think, Mum? I don't know what you mean. Okay, well, perhaps you can tell me what are Mr. Morris's intentions. His intentions? Oh, come on, Mum. Adultery at your age? Adultery? No, Jackie, it's not like that. Well, what is it like then? Excuse me. I can't wait all night. Perhaps <laughs> 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 is a bit like that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Come on, Grandma. Found you. What are you doing? God, that bloody man. Oh, tell us about it. I had to get away. And you had to take your top off? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Promise me when I get old, you'll just take me out. <laughs> so, <laughs> having fun with your stones? Not really. Can't find any more wretched trilobites. That is a shame. Big shame. Thank you for abandoning me. I just had to watch Mr. Morris feed my mother pieces of apple from his own mouth. Uh. Go on, Mr. Morris wants little and large to get a new headlight thingy with him. What? No. Really? Yes, really. And anyway, I want you to go with him. Uh, because? Because I want you to ask him what his intentions are towards your grandmother. Ask him his intentions? Sorry, are we in the 17th century? <laughs> just do it for me. No. Thanks. Nah, I couldn't do it. I, I, I couldn't go with him. No, it's been the way he just drove into the house. Nah, he can't drive, mom. Why you want me to get in the car with him? The man can't drive. Do you, you, you want me to die? Shitting arthropods. <coughs> Pass us that book, would you? What book? This one. No, not that one. The big one.
And the other one. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, that's better. First things first. One rule I have when I'm in a vehicle. Okay. Complete silence. Complete. Oh. Not a word. Uh, oh, shh. Uh, Mr. Morris. Silence! <laughs> oh, where well. are they? <clears throat> Stupid shop. Adam, his intentions? Why don't you do it? Go on, little legs. These are the ones. Um, Mr. Morris, can I ask you something? Four pound forty-four. Well, aren't you going to pay? For what? Ah, no. For the bulbs, of course. Why do we have to pay? Because if your grandmother had never existed, I'd never have driven into your doorstep. <laughs> and that's. <laughs> Nah, 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 yeah, we, Mr. Morris gotta go. He got, he, we ain't putting up with Mr. Morris. Actual logic, is it? What, pound 44? Yes, all right. Johnny, wallet? I don't have any money. Oh. Thank you. Oh, um, Mr. Morris. Sorry. Um, can I ask you something? What? Um, we just wanted to know, what are your... Um, what are your intent... ...sive interests? My what? Your intensive interests. Oh, my Lord. Kindly pay the man. Intensive interests? Oh, I forgot something. Well, come on, give the man a bit of room. Get out of the way. Can I also get them... Um, ...a packet of those? This? Let me have a look at them. No, I've used these before. They're too loose. Too loose? Adam, why is Mr. Morris buying condoms? They're more hygienical. You do know he's going to use them on Grandma. Well, technically he's going to use them on himself. No, please don't finish that sentence. Ah, oh, yes. yes. Those are the ones. Nice and tight. You may pay now. I'll be outside. Hmm. So those are his intensive interests. OK. Take this. You're welcome. Are you all everything all right? No, I'm worn out. I'm having a lie down upstairs. Uh, are you um okay? I trust you have clean sheets. Well, what is honourable? Definitely honourable. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a long time, Mum. Shall I wake the man? I wouldn't if I were you. He doesn't like being woken. I'm sure he'd be fine. He once tore a light out of the wall. Right. Oh, go on, go and check on Mr Morris. Us? Go on. What if he does that thing with the light? Oh, just see that he's OK. <sighs> Boys. Be careful. Still breathing. We could smother him. I don't fuck it. The condoms. Oh, no. No! The condoms not. I think you take them. What? No! Don't be ridiculous. You'll be really upset. Go on, take them. Me? No. Again. Go on. He's gonna get his arm tore off, man. Why would you take them? This isn't good. Hurry up. I mean, really. This really isn't good. Gotcha! Ah! You had your hand in my trousers! No, I didn't! It was an accident! An accident? Yes, I, I slipped and... He did, he slipped and then it was... Crippin! Oh, Jesus! What's going on? What happened to the light? Your son was fiddling with my private parts! What? <laughs> what? He had his hand down my trousers! No, I didn't! I was... Adam? That makes you either a thief or a molester. Which one are you? Uh, thief, better say thief. What were you doing in here? Hey, he said thief, better say thief. It's a mistake. I am sorry, Mr. Morris. No! Oh, this is worse than Rutherford's! Oh. What were you doing in there? He just tore the light out of the... What were you doing to the man? I wasn't doing anything. You weren't, you know, 
No. Of course I wasn't. It wasn't me. <laughs> Don't tell me. Mum, I can't, okay? Um, you can. And you will. Oh, alright, God. You know his... intentions? Yes. Well... He bought a packet of... <laughs> That's it. Mum? Mummy? Never would I have believed that I'd be subjected to such a brutal sexual attack! Mr. Morris, it really wasn't a... Move out of my way, please! <laughs> Nelly, we're going. I've been sexually assaulted. Get your coat, Nelly. It's an outrage. An absolute outrage. An absolute <laughs> bloody... Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Shit. Oh my god. Lou! Lou! Mr. Morris! What's going on? Sorry, I'm sorry. Is he dead? Lou! Sorry. Oh! Oh, oh wow. <sighs> Think you're tough, do you? I didn't mean to. You filthy slanderer! It's okay, Mr. Morris. Let's see what you've got then. Come on, put him up! <coughs> put him up, half pint! Come on! Put him up! Come on! Put up! No, stop it! Now, Mr. Stop Morris, on. please. Oh, your top's come off, has it? You want so as well, do you? Tom. Right! Mr. Morris! <laughs> Get Mr. Morris out of there, mate! Come on! Put, put him up! Mr. Morris! Mr. Morris, I've had a nasty fall. A thousand, eh? What? A thousand workers at my factory! Even Rutherford's in there for a thousand! <laughs> And where do you think you're going, Mr. Molesta? Yeah. Uh, 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 in an old man's undergarments? Get off me! Stop it, Lou! Pull your trousers up and fight like a man! You're a lunatic! <laughs> Come on, then! Fight the lunatic! Right, you, enough! Get off me! Have a moment! It's all right! I'm good, good, good. Let me go, you villain! Come on, out! Oh. Oh, Slanderers! <laughs> Right, change the plan, everyone else out. Go on, that's it. Run away, run away. This is it. Come back. Dad. Come back, you coward. Lock the door, lock the door. Oh, Christ. He's a lunatic. Stop the run. Do these. So what are we going to do? I don't know. Martin, what are we going to do? Um, sell the house. Oh, very good. <laughs> Damn. Damn. What are we going to do? Ain't going to have a heart attack or something, eh? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to stand out here and wait till he has another bloody heart attack. <laughs> 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 Why would you, mom bring? Why would grandma bring him around? That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop them in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's rewarding. Out.